Do you know, I thought it was going to get a little bit tasty over the free booze. It's just lucky you're here, cos I feel so safe. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, has he told everyone, has he? No. Yeah. Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, why can't we have been more like this back in the day, eh? We well, were too young, probably. We weren't ready, were we? No, I suppose we weren't. Should have hung in there, though. That's easy to say now. Oi, oi! The party's officially started. Hand. Yeah, yeah, I think I do actually. What do you want then? Yeah. They're only chatting. I know that. What are you saying? Well, you didn't get all doled up for Kathy's sake, I mean, did you? This was Bex, not me, right? No. Sweet, isn't it? Yeah, wish Bex was here to take notes. I'd love a big party like this one day. No, no, I mean, Martin and Stace. You know, she weren't going to come. No? No. Cat had to talk her around. But she's here now. He's the love of her life. She think it's sweet. She still loves him? Yeah, loads. She thinks she can't tell him, though. Well, she should, if that's what she feels. You tell him. The close side was... Surprise! Hey, happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> you know, I was so mad at you. Now, now you've got to done all this. Love you, Mum. We oh, yeah, Mum. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Nice you and Martin are getting on, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's easier for the kids. I was thinking about them. Where are they? Uh, Tiff's got them. Oh, she can't have. Well, she has. No, because Bex just texted me and she saw her my clunkies. What? Yeah, I, I might have got it wrong, but... Hey, Tiff was at home. Was she? Yeah. Oh, it's a relief, isn't it? You're giving me a heart attack. Did you tell mine? Tell him what? Not now, eh? No, go on, tell him what? No, I made a mistake, right? There's no harm done, is there? She just tried to get rid of me. She told me that Tiff had gone out and left the kids at home on their own. It was a genuine mistake. What have I ever done to you? Oh, shush, sure, sure. Why are you going to ruin the party? Ian already did that. Problem, Stace? No, there is no problem, all right? I'm going to get back to mine. Oh, right. <laughs> I get it now. What, you helping him out? Being the good little woman, you're hoping that it pays off and he takes the loneliness away. I'm just helping out. You're scared I'm going to ruin that cosy little setup. Look, there is no setup, right? But whatever it is, it's better than what you've ever given him. You mouthy cow. Oh, just so you know, this ain't your business, all right? Just leave it, yeah? No one's leaving nothing. No, actually, Rick, about what you asked me earlier, should I tell you what Martin said about Stacey? No, I'm sorry to do this, all right? But you're wasting your time on him. Oh, you know all about that. He said he only thinks, all right? And he said this, not me. When he sees you, he only ever sees Max. Oh, don't listen to her, Stace. That's the truth. Would you read that in a text? Another imaginary one. This is for your own good. Yeah? Well, I know what's good for you. Come on, that's enough now. But he ain't interested in you. You couldn't excite him in a million years, Sonia. Run along, love. This could get messy. Son? No, it's nothing, honestly. We're just having a girly chat. Oh, yeah. Don't look like that to me. Well, it's nothing to do with you, Martin. I'm just saying. My back's hurting us from the get going. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Martin, whatever she says to you, it won't like that. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, that. No. 